Hey, what's up guys? It's Red Infamy and we're here with the creators of Robot Chicken. So stay tuned for the panel and what they have to discuss with their new season on Robot Chicken. <laughs> what's happening? Like what that, are we talking yeah. about? How's Comic-Con? What's going on? Right? It's incredible, man. It's better now that we're with y'all. Like, <laughs> good, good. Well, we feel the same way. All right, I'm going to set it off. Yeah, go for it. it. Let's right, do it. So first of all, I'm Hip Hop Gamer Hot 97. You already know what it is. I'm just, this is just crazy. So, I listened to the oh, station yeah. when I lived here, so I know it well. I know doubt. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> right. Robot Chicken. Classic. I want to know, how is it that you guys could take like a two-second clip and make it better than some whole comedy movies? Like, like a two-second clip. Like, Go on What's Twitter like, and people might disagree. You know, two <laughs> seconds is a lot. That's like 60 frames. It's like 60 pictures right there. Like, it's insane because um, I think the chemistry between the way you guys like visualize how you want to put something together, that's the part that I think is like the matrix of it all. I think it's great. So working together for so long and putting this together, like... What's the best episode for you guys oh that boy. Like, made you like, yo, like, parents going to hate us, <laughs> nobody's going to want to talk to us, and, but we still make money anyway. The, <laughs> like, those are two stuff. different types of, the so one that I thought episode. We were, favorite episode would be, for me, the, the last Star Wars special that we did, hands down. Oh, uh, that's a cheat. That's like a it big is a episode. Cheat, but it was a big episode and it was a dream come true and in every way it was my favorite. Um, yeah, I can't believe Lucasfilm let us do that in any way. Um, the one that probably my parents will hit me for. Um, yeah, I mean, we did a, a, a Cuddles brand fabric softener sketch, which was very uncomfortable, and I'll, I'll just kind of say it was uncomfortable. And if you go online and look at you it, see that you'll one? understand. It's... My mom called me after watching that. Did she really? Had a hard conversation with me. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that made for an interesting moment in my life. That's pretty bad. You know, I, I think the best episode, I mean, Star Wars is really good, and it's a little unfair to use that You're one, but. Coming. But this year, this season, Secret of the Booze is my favorite episode. You guys see that one? It's really good. It's got a lot of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in it. It's got some elf in it, some aliens. It's a really funny one. So check it out. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of the specials. We'll get you right after. Oh, no. We'll get you right after. You do a lot of the, um, the specials, and I was happy with Star Wars. I was definitely happy with the DC one. But, you know, what's, what's next? I mean, I'm assuming that it has to be another. Can you say what's next? Um... Let's just say we've done two DC specials and we're talking to them about doing a third. So yeah, we we like those DC folks. So uh, yeah. So that yeah, looking at a three. What about what should we do after this? Should, you know, <laughs> turtles. Should we do He-Man? What you guys What's need to do. He-Man. All you guys need to do is tell those companies to come to us because that's how it usually works. Lucasfilm called us up. DC called us up. Yeah. So Which whatever you, Marvel? Marvel needs to call us That's up. It's all, it's Marvel, all up yeah. to those you companies. Know. Those companies can tell us. You and, just got to uh, make a call. Yes. So every time you interview any of these companies, like if you see like, you know, Jeff Loeb or Kevin Feige over <laughs> at uh, Marvel, be like, hey, we should do a special robot chicken. I have an idea for you guys. Have you guys ever thought about doing an episode actually about y'all? Like, like, cut your own head off. You know, you know all this other stuff. Well, that's funny. We we've, we've done a lot of, you know, a lot of the end of the season sketches are with the cast and the crew that you know oftentimes get hurt and their heads come off and stuff like that. But yeah, I think that's really fun. You know, in the beginning or the ending of the season, starting off with uh, our specific puppets doing things. But yeah, he was just saying our telethon sketch. Yeah, we telethon. That we've was had a good our one. Characters show up. Seth and I show up as uh, a twisted versions of ourselves pretty often. Yeah, yeah, and uh, usually it never ends well. Yeah. Ever. yeah, I think there was one that was like, it was like a three minute sketch of us naked, like eyes wide shut. And yeah, that was the opening of this year. That was yeah, pretty disturbing. And, and watching a puppet version of myself, you know, completely naked is a very uncomfortable <laughs> Actual animatable to watch. penises. Yeah. I was, uh, I felt bad for that animator. Yeah. What's that? That, he should just go a little hot lower. Yeah. <laughs> I, love I, I noticed that recently you've been doing video games such as with Nintendo. You did. Oh yeah. You did the whole that was great. Nintendo. You also been doing stuff with uh, PlayStation. Here yeah. Right? I mean, so we're gonna see more video game related content. As I said, when the companies come, when the com when the companies come to us, we're like, yes, please, because we're, we're fans of all of these things. So like, any of those, like when PlayStation comes to us, yes, we would love to do more of those types of things. We love all this. We did a Nintendo thing for uh, uh, what's it called E3. E3. Yeah, yep. that was great. And uh, but all these companies have really just said we're fans and we want to play, and we're 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 very friendly people. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was for you. That was for you. I, just to say, uh, I saw that you guys took a little bit out of the protector and last fight scene all the way up, the collaboration from the character. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed you know what that is. Yeah. <laughs>
do you guys plan on doing something similar to that later on with other martial arts movies? Uh, with other martial arts movies? Um, Maybe it's probably I mean we're fans of that stuff like again that shot you watch that it's like an 11 minute shot <laughs> off that staircase in in the movie and you know we only did a three minute or three and a half minute version of that and we tried to do as best we could it took that animator I think almost two months to do that thing um, and but it, it gives you the idea of how much time goes into something as elaborate as that whereas you watch the choreograph uh, the choreography of that and you just are blown away but yes I would love to I'm a huge martial arts fan I grew up you know you know going to Chinatown and buying the uh, illegal VHS tapes uh, <laughs> wait can you so say that watch. you're gonna get caught it was like two bucks yeah. oh, okay. it was awesome but yeah I would watch all of this stuff so it was it was amazing when uh, Ben Affleck was first announced as Batman uh -huh. like a lot of people was very disappointed because they didn't feel that he, you know they, they didn't see the movie yet obviously but they thought that it would just be bad like when the movie come out if, if he does a bad job or whatever, whatever like would you actually take what the fans say and create a whole show based on <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I don't, such a big topic. I don't think we would do that you know like everything we do is out of love so it's like you know after things calm down a little bit it would be maybe a little bit of a jab out of love yeah. but we wouldn't want to just you know and I don't pour know what it you on. know about Ben Affleck he's a pretty good actor so you know, <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm just, not, I'm not, the tables I'm not, have turned. I'm just not judging yet. Like again, I'm the first one to say I saw Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm like, I don't know, man. Like this could go either way for me. And then I went to the movie theater. I was like, okay, this is this is what we're talking about. This is an amazing, amazing movie. Um, so I'm I'm cautious, but I will believe when I see it. Like again, yeah. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not the one of those people who like will say I hate something before I see what it is. Let that trailer come out, and like that trailer comes out and it blows our minds away. We're gonna be like. Why were we doubting him in any way? <laughs> yeah. So, I noticed that, I'm sorry, uh, I noticed that there was uh, certain uh, cartoons that take power shots. You take power shots at family values. You know, <laughs> but I feel like there's one uh, cartoon series, both me and family guy kind of would like to take a power shot, and that's uh, South Park. I mean, you guys know the power shot? Like take taking a pot shot at them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. they took one there. They took one there. Not at us. Um, no, you know, I, I mean, South Park, I, love and is one of my top five shows that I watch on air. Um, I would love to have Trey and, and Matt even do the show. Um, I just don't know if they're allowed to due to their Comedy Central contract. Um, but uh, but you know, yeah, how do you, making fun of comedies is hard. And like, it, it's like, it's a hat on a hat, I always say. And uh, you know, if something comes to us and we feel like it's right, we'll do something. But oh man, that's a good show. But I will say, you know, <laughs> that would be pretty funny to do like, you know, go back how it used to look where it was more cardboard, or not cardboard, but like the paper cut out and just make it, and make fun of that look. That would be pretty funny. So, yeah. you know, I think next season we should... He might write something. We'll see what happens. We yeah. should try. Yes. I have a question. Um, so I'm wondering, are we going to get a Star Wars episode four from you guys <laughs> when episode seven drops using like jokes from the new movies? Because I feel like we need, I feel like we need more Star Wars content when those come out. Whole new stuff to new characters. I think it just ties stuff. into what we're talking about also. We gotta yeah. see them. Like yeah. until we see what these things are, it's hard to predict what we need to do with them. So. Okay, but there's gonna be some weird guy in the back like Prune Face, which is an <laughs> iconic character that I had to go and buy a few. <laughs> but Prune Face had about 17 years to fester in the audience's <laughs> mind before we can make that joke about him in some way. So, so maybe 17 years after that comes out, when <laughs> Robot Chicken's still on the air. Robot Chicken so season 20. <laughs> When's his full show, by the way, coming to Adult Swim? Prune Face? Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think we need to talk to... action packed thing. <laughs> if Disney can work out a relationship with Warner Brothers, we can make this whole thing work out very nicely. Yes, I would love to do that. What's that? I said Marvel's thing. So Marvel what we need is the Marvel get special. Marvel and DC to join. Get them to call us. We're game to do anything. Yes, we love those guys. I I have I have another question. Oh no, she had a question. Oh yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. You go do your thing. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Uh, this is, you probably see me around now. This is the third year in a row. I'm talking with you guys. So tell me more about um, what more inspirations you're gonna have as the uh, now that the next season's coming around. Um, we actually just finished the season, as weird as it sounds. So our Christmas special is the only thing that hasn't been shown yet this season. And then we start writing the next season in December. So it's this weird downtime right for us where we can breathe. Right now we're not thinking creatively. Uh, yeah. But we will be more 90s stuff, I think, we're going to be pushing I this year. I think we've been drunk since we finished. And we'll, we'll, we'll get better after. 
I don't know if you remember, we were uh, talking last year with Brecken, and he was saying how uh, a lot of you guys were uh, not taking his ideas. Are you actually listening to his ideas? You know he's crazy, right? He's, gonna, <laughs> he's coming to this table probably a little bit. He has bit. the worst ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that. He's going to be. No, um, you know, Brecken... Uh, Brecken, Brecken He's believes, a nice guy. I, he believes everything he does is genius. <laughs> and yes, a lot of it is. And But uh, occasionally we have to say no to some of his sketches, unfortunately. Very nice. Yeah. I, I, have I have something I want to say. Oh, oh okay. I, last question. Last, last question. question. I, okay. Breaking Bad is one of my favorite like shows, right? It would be amazing if you did a whole episode based on bitch. Like, uh, once they just say a bitch, my whole uh, entire show. I think, like, if you had a whole different scene. And Aaron Paul saying, yeah, yeah, Aaron special, Paul. where all yeah. he just says is that the entire time. Yeah. He, he did our show. Um, Cranston's done our show. Um, yeah, there'll, there'll be some interesting things with uh, someone like Brian Cranston coming. All right, cool. Thank you so much. One love, y'all. Awesome. Right. Thank, Thank you guys, guys very much. Thanks, we really man. appreciate it. Thank you. Wow. All right. So much. Be yeah. really hard on that. <laughs>